What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nick as always, you can call me Touch of Ninja and I welcome you to my let's play walkthrough of Mafia 3. So I've been fortunate that I've actually had some hands on time with this game earlier this year and based on what I've played so far, you guys are in for a real treat. This game has some of the best storytelling that I've experienced in 2016 and I think, I really do think by the end of this year it will be in the running for game of the year 2016. I don't think that it will beat Uncharted 4 which is going to be my prediction that will win game of the year this year. but. Just to be in the running I think is a really good solid sign. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy the ride and if you're a person who is squeamish about racial undertones and racism, especially if you shiver at the end bomb, then this game may not be for you. But what I decided to do is just to kind of keep in the spirit of the game as well to kind of just keep you guys involved and have a little bit of a community thing right here. So what I decided to do is for every end bomb that is dropped in this game, we as a channel, as a community, will keep a running tally at the end of each episode. If you guys can help me out, just let me know what we're at and then we'll carry that number into the next episode. And by the time we reach the end of the series, we'll count them all up and whatever number we're at, I will donate $1 for every end bomb to a black charity in North America using the profits that are coming from this series and the ad revenue that these episodes create. So it's something fun that I think we should do and it helps out the black community in North America. And I think it's just something interesting that I would try out. So yeah, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy the series. As always, if you got enjoyed, drop the video a quick thumbs up. If you're new to the series, feel free to subscribe. And once again, I'm begging you guys to help me out with the end bomb counter as bad as that sounds because if it becomes heated I may miss one so you guys keep me on my toes but other than that let's get started and have some fun This tracker is going to bankrupt me by the end of the series. I'm just calling right now, but I think it's something cool that we're going to be able to do together. This game does not hold back. It's very gritty. Lincoln's mother abandoned him in 1947, a couple of years after he was born. His mother, I heard she was Dominican. I always figured his father was white, maybe even not Italian. Not that it mattered. Back then, if you look black, you black. Same as today, I suppose. He stayed at the orphanage until 1958. Well, when did you meet Lincoln Click? 1966. I was running black ops out of Laos on behalf of the CIA. He was loaned out to me via joint CIA DOD task force. He was a quiet boy. Good boy. Two Purple Hearts, a Bronze Star, and the Distinguished Service Cross. He served his country with honor and distinction. After the city closed the orphanage, he fell in with Sammy Robinson. Sammy ran the black mob over in Delray Hollow. I can't say I approve, but often colored boys, 
didn't have a lot of options back then. Boys like Lincoln, the ones who've been abandoned, they're always looking for a home, always looking for a place to belong. I think he thought he'd find it in the army. Thing is, once that's lost, you never get it back again. When he returned from the war, Lincoln ended back up over at Sammy's. Now Sammy owed the Italian mob a whole lot of money, and he needed Lincoln's help. It's a damn shame what happened. It breaks my heart. Voice acting in this game is so good. Love it. Still say this is the craziest goddamn thing I ever heard. Using real money to rob the feds. Well, hell, man, not like this is our cash. This all came from Skeletta. Besides, peanuts compared to what we're gonna haul out of there. Is everything we need to burn? Yeah, that's it. I grab the keys to the truck, then we can get the fuck out of here. Keys in the other room. Grab them so we can get the hell out of here. Tell me what to do. Lincoln is jacked, man. That is army strong right there. Still not sure about leaving him like this. He came through mm -hmm. with the truck just like mm -hmm. we asked. Even grease his partner to make it look good. Mm -hmm. But if you got doubts, mm -hmm. why take a chance? White boy's having a freaky party in here. So, I've played this opening scene already. And you guys know me, I'm generally a nice guy. I make nice decisions in video games. But, I always like to have mm -hmm. options. Mm -hmm. And I respect that they give it to us. <laughs> Alright then, that's that. Goddamn. We should get going. You got the keys so you can drive. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Start rolling here. So, I increased the FOV on this game to about 80. I tried 90, didn't really like it that much. So this should look better though. I like having options. It's nice playing at PC. Take it easy heading to town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. My old man wanted us to keep one of the guards alive, help throw the feds off the trail. Like you said, I take a chance. Besides, if I learn anything from being over in Nam, someone's willing to flip sides once, I'm probably willing to do it a second time. Fuck you in the process. So answer me this, what's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh. So come on, you gonna answer the question or what? We, uh... We on the coast of Quang Nai, evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran everything. Anyway, we getting them onto a medical ship. This woman walks up. She got a baby in one hand and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp and the MP stops her and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape, tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey man, you asked. Yeah, but I thought you were gonna tell me a story about some gook getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, god damn. It's not a fault. But not like you think. The conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall, they will do anything to survive. That better have been one delicious fucking pig. Mm-hmm. 
Bacon, 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 bacon. I think Lincoln is one of the most relatable characters that I've ever played in the video game. Well, at least in recent memory. I like his voice actor, I like his demeanor, I like what he's all about. So, like I said, I've played this opening scene before. I'm not going to try to pretend that I haven't with fake live commentary because that never goes over well. <laughs> I'll let you guys know when we reach a point that is new and fresh to me. Gotta keep it uh, copacetic and kosher over here. Transparency is always appreciated on YouTube. Out of my way, I'm on the truck. Missouri probably won't be too keen on you waltzing around with that piece of yours. I'll just leave it under the seat. Time to see if these forged IDs are worth a fuck. Back it up to the loading dock. Some of these fellas might get a little, uh, rough with the language, and... Well, I ain't like I've never been called nigger before. Nah, I know, but I'm just saying, if I go along with it, ain't nothing poison. The only thing I care about is getting our hands on that money. Our first end bomb And it came from Lincoln. <laughs> Remember, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need your guys' help here. I may get lost in the gameplay. When I say something about being hot, that's when we make our move. All right. You guys help me out by keeping track as well, please. It's for a good cause, right? Oh, here we yeah. go. Put your IDs up the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. Ask you can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burning room. How much y'all bring in? $238,546. Small bills, mostly. I'll let Miss Gale call up your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Appreciate it. It has to be the actual word. Derogatory comments do not count. Need to check that scatter gun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One less goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. Buying rooms down in the cellar. This way. I ain't seen y'all around these parts before. Y'all's over in Georgia for a while. He just got out the service. And my cousin's been trying to get on here for over a year now. Was in the Navy for two tours, got medals falling out of his ass. Government tells him thanks, but no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard one. Sad day when a God-fearing white man can't get a job, but ain't old nigga who staggers in his hide on the spot. Two. <laughs> You bastards better not be playing with each other back there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Christ, look at that. Didn't know y'all held that much gold. That Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. It's here, then it gets sent to Dallas, then it comes back. It doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. <sighs> here we are. It feels so weird that they burn cash. It's such a shame, but it's like Fort Those Knox over there. there. Never done this detail before. Figured it'd be bigger. It gets the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck, that's some heat right there. 
We used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flame. Here's some guy come around the house trying to switch me. <laughs> kind of overkill. God, that guy was an asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. All right, give me a second. <clears throat> I didn't like him anyways. Right, you take care of those guards. Keep your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on us. I know what the fuck I'm doing. Well trained. Guy's vaping. You know that house we've been renting now? Called over there last night. Told them they wanted to sell. Told them they needed to be home in two weeks. And the man, his name's uh, John, starts laying into me. Saying the lease gives them the right to a 30-day notice. That's how he's supposed to find a new place in two weeks. So I tell him none of that's my goddamn problem. It's my property, and I'll do with it what I please. And if it brings up that fucking lease again, I'll use it to wipe my ass and make him eat it. Not only that. Give him the choke hold. I'll take this too. Come on, we need hey. to get this vault open. But I guess it'd be too heavy to carry. God damn it! You triggered the fucking alarm? Shit, I didn't notice this cage was on a different system. All right, we're gonna hold off the guards until Danny's done drilling. Hey, we're gonna pull this off. All right, let's get it. This is a fucking robbery! I'm going for help! That gut shot. There you go. You ain't getting up. Get around this asshole! All set to shoot! Oh shit, he came deep in there. Dropped him. I'm gonna go around. That's this. This is a goddamn massacre. Mm-hmm. Sure is. Get you both barrels. Let's get those guys off us. Oh We're shit, back up, back up, bag. back up, back up. Shall kick the hornet's nest this time. Only way we walk out of here is if we get the weapons stored in that armory. Bust the door open. I'll watch out. <sighs> My old man gonna shit a brick when he hears about this. <sighs> Fuck! Fuck! Come on, open! Get out of the way. Give me that damn thing. Yes, there's a lock picking game. Unfortunately. But you know. It's not that hard. As I say this, it's not that hard. 
Get that MG. Hit him with the smoke. Shit, man, these guys ain't fucking around. Face way worse than this over and now. Nah. Little smoke don't mean shit. Stay close to the vault, watch for the drill. I'll deal with these assholes. Blind fire! Well, Sammy had men all over the place. Now, one of them worked at a cleaner's and stole the uniforms Georgie Marcano and Lincoln Clay wore on the day of the robbery. Another one was a janitor at the Federal Reserve, and he provided a rough layout. The robbery of the Federal Reserve was timed perfectly, and none of it would have been possible without the involvement of Sammy Robinson, Lincoln Clay, and the rest of the black mob. You just come from Vietnam? That's right. I was a Marine in the Pacific. You take it from me. Just because you're home, doesn't mean you're back. You understand? People around here, they don't, they don't get it. Never will. <laughs> Keep your ass out of trouble. Nah, nah. Sorry I'm late. Got caught up crossing the bridge. Don't worry about it. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for my stepbrother, Lincoln Clay. You seen him? He used to get ticked off if you were even a minute late. Kiss my ass. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> How was the trip? Being how this is the first time in four years and somebody telling me where to go, what to do, or how to do it, it was fucking great. <laughs> Mm. What's new with the old man? Man, don't even get me started on Pops. He used to pull his head out of his ass. Same as ever then. Brother, you have no fucking idea. Damn, Ellis. She's looking good. <laughs> Just like I left her. Man, even I know not to fuck around with your cop. Mm. All right, come on. I'm ready to go home. Mm. We ride. Destination, I don't know. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby Soho. So Sammy's doing all right? Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, he's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. He'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. All right, I'm not the greatest driver in the world, but I usually don't give a fuck either, so. There's a little fender bender once in a while. You guys just deal with it, okay? I put on my black glasses. Deal with it. Oh, yeah. Forgot. You remember you can't... Marty and Ron Langford? Sure. They moved up to Empire Bay a year or so after you shipped out. Started selling weed. They call and ask me if I want some. I say, show. Sure. It's free money as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line and says they're moving into heroin, that they're looking for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. I never told him about the weed. That ain't nothing to nobody. But this, I got to talk to him about. I ain't said more than three words, and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar up our asses, and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. We ain't selling no dope to no children. <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. Fucking around the side. Heroin was pretty serious shit. Knew a couple guys over in Nam who were running it. Wound up pissing off the wrong person. Got their throats cut. Shit, man, I know what's what. That's why I'm talking to Georgie about it. 
There's no way Sal's gonna go along with that. Georgia says he can keep his old man from fighting out. We'll still clear the high low in Frisco, just selling the French wall. George's Uncle Lou won't say shit as long as we give him a taste of the action. I don't know, man. George is a cool cat and all, but heroin ain't the kiddie pool. Come in on it with us. I bet he'd agree to a three-way split. <sighs> I don't know. I kind of need to lay low a bit, figure some things out. Yeah, all right. So fast. The car's such a beast. American muscle. Don't hit me. No one hit me, please. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, we're going through the front. Park hey, it right here. here. I ask you the back no. Look who I found panhandling out in front of the train station. Pleasure, man. Welcome back, baby. Oh. Boy, I send you to bring Lincoln Claire home. Not the big nigga who ate him. Well, shit, old man. <laughs> I finally went somewhere they knew how to cook. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome home, son. How are you? I'll be better once I get some of that shine in me. <laughs> I always did love corn whiskey. I would like to make a toast. My father used to say that the real worth of a man came from the mark he left on the world. When Lincoln first told me he was joining the military, I was against it. Too dangerous, I say. Let those people fight their own war, I say. But then I realize Lincoln needed to go out and make his mark. And that's precisely what he did. I'm so... so proud of you. Paul Lincoln! Bienvenue à la maison! Paul Lincoln! Bienvenue à la maison! Welcome home. <laughs> That's the extent of my French. Time to get crunked. Nice seeing you, Lincoln. Oh, I kept you in my prayers. I really appreciate that, Father. <laughs> now, who wants to get shit faced? <laughs> Woo! It's hard to explain what it's like coming home from war. Elation. Fear. Guilt. Imagine being trapped in a dark room and there's no way out. And every fear, every nightmare you ever had is in that room with you. And there's no escape from any of it. And then, one day, a door opens, and you're free to go. Just like that. The thing is, you made your peace with your terror and your fear of death. And now part of you is afraid to leave it behind. But what choice do you have? Every soldier has to walk through that door, one way or another. Man, Bobbin. <laughs> whiskey's going hoy in the morning. Hell, man, just sleep it off. The room's the same as you left it. I'm gonna take the basement. <laughs> the basement? Why the fuck you wanna crash down there? I'll see you in the morning. Man, that wall must have really fucked you up. Father James is like MVP storyteller of the year, man. It's like having like Morgan Freeman narrate the story for me right now. His deep voice. Got time to have a nap. PTSD is real. Might still be a little bit drunk. 
All right, let's go upstairs. We barely have two nickels to rub together. Now we're paying for all that food. Jesus Christ. Watch that mouth of yours. We wouldn't be in this mess if you were to listen to me. What mess? It's not something you need to worry about, Lincoln. I got it under control. Under control? God damn it, you need to Boy, I'm not eyes. warning you again. Have it your way, old man. Let him be. He needs to cool off. You mind telling me what's got him so riled up? We've been having uh, problems with the Haitians. But like I say, I got it under control. Well, truck's all loaded up. I figured we got enough out there for... Should I, should I come back? In honor of your returning to us safe and sound, I made a donation to Father James here. Supplied him with food he can hand out to some of our needier family. Well, I was hoping you'd lend me a hand, Lincoln, and give you a chance to see the neighborhood. This thing with the Haitians, how serious is it? Ah, you know it is. Someone looks at him the wrong way, he's on them like a wet dog. Like I said, I can now uh, come back. Nonsense. Lincoln needs to get out. Enjoy the day. Besides, be good for the two of you to spend some time together. Mm. Go on. Those people waiting on their food. Oh, I saw Langan a couple times once he was first back. <laughs> he told me he wanted to leave town, head out to California. Now, he had a friend in the service who could get him a job working at the Mare Island shipyard. And the only reason he came back was to tell Sammy and Ellis goodbye. But then he found out about the trouble Sammy was having with those Haitians. So he decided to stay in hell. Those Haitians, they are bad news. No talking Lankin out of it. Whatever else he might have become, Lankin was always loyal. Ow, solar flare. My eyes, they burn. Well, then most likely. Three month apprenticeship to start, then the union lets you in. You tell Sammy and Ellis? Not yet. I'm gonna wait a few days. Didn't want to spring it on them since I just got back. Well, they won't like the head, but they'll come around. You need to do what's best for you. Go ahead and start serving those folks. I'll be back. Give Sammy my best, Lincoln. Yes, sir. Warm meal, warm heart. Oh, sure. Thanks. Thanks. Serving that gumbo. You delivering a real blessing here, Lincoln. Thank you. Blessing's mine, ma'am. Couple of days back and they already got you working? Ah, I'm happy to do it. Means We're the man of the tall. people. Give her some of the taters at the bottom there, Lincoln. Don't get old, son. It's a fucking shit show. <laughs> I'll see what I can do about that. Hey there, Lincoln. How are you, Regine? I'm good. Nice to see you around the hollow again. Nice to see those big brown eyes again. Regine. Well, they'll be over at my aunt's place with the rest of me. You should stop by. Maybe I'll do that. Lincoln, we got trouble. Run, Regine. Run! Oh, yeah. with you, Lincoln! Sammy's next! Ooh. You boys the headbutt. Oh, shit. God, he had a gun. He almost tombstoned me, man.
Francois Papa Doc Duvalier was elected president of Haiti in 1957. By 1959, he had created a secret police called Tonton Makut, and people started to flee. Uh, most of them settled in the southern United States. Now, mixed in with the good, hard-working people were hardened criminals. Uh, they formed the backbone of what became the Haitian gang. Now, Lincoln found out they set up in the swamps and were led by a man named Baca. Uh, you and Father James done already? We got jumped by the Haitians. It's time you level with me. Tell me what's really going on. Yes. I suppose it is. Six, sir. Seven months ago, folks in the hollow started getting robbed. Money, jewelry, things of that nature. Didn't take long for us to figure out it was the Haitians. Then those batas on Velour started going after the lottery. How much money are we talking about? How much? Enough that we're in deep shit with Sal Marcano. Haven't kicked up to him in three months. Jesus Christ. If I deal with them, that gives us time to settle up with Marcano, right? Let me worry about Sal. He and I go way back. With this thing with the Haitians, it's time for it to end. You and Ellis need to handle it. How we gonna find them? Back in the 20s, folks used to pull salt out of the bayou. They even built themselves a little shanty town. When the depression hit, they abandoned it. That's the only place this could have come from. We're gonna need guns and ammo. Call this number. Do it away from here. No sense tipping anybody off. Or we could sweep the hollow, track down and kill every last one of those cocksuckers, then we wouldn't have to worry about it. The last thing folks in this neighborhood need to see is colored people killing each other. Do this quiet, away from here. Once we eliminate whoever's running the show, the rest of them will go down on their own. Trust me. All right, soldier boy. I'll follow your lead. Be careful, here. Yeah? Those Haitians are a hard people. Do not ever underestimate them. I would not like to meet Lincoln in a dark alley, man. I think I'd just like fall and land in fetal position until he disappeared. <laughs> As one big man. You sure this is how you want to play this? Last thing they're going to expect is an attack from the water. You head back round to the row. Stay with the car. I'll meet you over there when this is done. Hope you know what you're doing. Trust me, Ellis. Here in a bit, this will all be behind us. You're in the army, not the Marines. How many men we send in? Two teams. One's gonna hit the bar, the other's going after Perth. Boss says if we have to burn down half the hollow to get Sammy, we doing it. To Papa Legba, open the gate for me. Act your bon leg. And the other one. Ah. Lincoln McKay. He's the one. This time you won't get away from us. Sucks that I only can carry two weapons at once. <coughs> well, two main weapons. This is nice. Yo, shit. Should have killed that old man a long time. I think the boss was worried Sammy didn't bother Marcano. Asked him to come down on us. 
That cracker asshole don't give a shit about some worn out nigga. Long as the money's coming in, Makano don't care who's handing it to him. Don't need a whistle. I can just get there stealthily. Our goal is to get to that church up there. It's like I played this before. This way. I always love it when games give you the option of stealth. Love stealth. Sing it, man. Just belting it. Go through the back here. Alright, this is where it gets kind of tricky because there's one guy. Okay. What I need to do is... Careful that indicator there. It's kind of like Far Cry. Get his body here. Drop it here. Move up to the next area. All right. Huh? You see nothing. Shit. No. Fuck it. Just kill Baka. Baka's dead. Should have killed me when you had the chance, asshole. Oh. Fuck you. Who Yenbata? Fuck you. You made a big mistake going after the hollow. Hollow. What my play is your Zeke. Come on. Let's wait up. Fuck me. Not on such a white man. The man you're talking about took me in when I had nowhere else to go. You are no better than you. Savage. You can't take a show. You fucking pig. Damn you to earth. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. He kept me in there. Locked in there. Day and night. Beat me. Use me. I kiss you, motherfucker. You and your entire goddamn family. He's dead. He's dead. He can't hurt you anymore. It's over. 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 <laughs> This is never going to be over. Pajam! Fucking Haitians. That bitch is cray. Oh my god. What are we looking here? There ain't no running. We gotta fight our way to the front of the uh... The front of the base again. Is that it? Can't move forward yet. 
Ooh, punch gun. Let's try this out. Don't get up. Let's go around the right side. Try to avoid all the stuff in the middle. As much as I can anyways. Empty, you say? Ninja dust. I threw up that ninja dust. Saw something suspicious. This is getting goddamn ridiculous. Oh. Jesus, let me at this fucker. So much for staying stealthy. The hell? Oh, this guy on top isn't there. Follow me. Should have stay up top, man. Uh -uh. Stay down the right side. Stay down the right side. Stay down the right side. <laughs> I get through that building. Where'd he go? Oh, is he? There he is. I can't let him get behind me. He's a better shot than I thought. <sighs> Yeah, I can't let him be get behind me. Alright. Let's try- Ooh, hello sir, give me that. Watch out! Oh shit! Get behind the guard, get behind the guard! Shoot him! Coming through the gates. Hit fire! Nice Molotov, dude! Right. There we go. Alright! Oh! You crazy motherfucker. About fucking time. Let me in, let me in, let me in. I'll drive, I'll drive, I'll drive, I'll drive. Get in. Alice. Always gotta get you out of trouble, don't I? You old? I am. How'd it go with Baka? Well, we came to an understanding. He stayed dead, not let him. Let's get back to Sammy's. Can't even tell you how happy Pops is gonna be. Man, this shit with the Haitians has been weighing on him. But with them out the way, things will calm down. Go back to the way they should be. Been telling him for months we needed to do something like this, but Pops, he... I don't know. Sometimes I think he's lost the taste for this shit. Just because a man don't rush to violence don't mean he lost something. I know, just makes me wonder what happens after, you know? No, I don't know. Explain it to me. Don't matter if it's a bullet or the hand of God. We all go sometime, right? I suppose. But Ellis, we don't need to talk about I pray that Pops outlives the both of us. But if he doesn't, every motherfucker in the hollow is gonna be looking to us or gunning for us. Just saying we gotta be ready when that day comes. Yeah, well, that's not something we gotta worry about right now. So just cool it with your grand plans, all right? Yeah, all right. A little bit of uh, black on black hate right now. Kind of distasteful, but how, how it was. <laughs> All right, let's get back to Sammy's. We'll get a cutscene, and I think we'll call it for the first episode. 
story only gets better from here. You just gotta, you gotta experience it, you know? Just thinking of pulling a power slide, but I haven't got an accident yet. Might as well not do it now. Solar flare blinding my eyes. Need my ray bands. I'm gonna park my car right here. Oh, never mind. Forgot that there's an actual garage. We almost didn't even see that car. Parker in there. Like a glove. The thing Lincoln didn't understand, or maybe want to understand, is that for a man like Sammy, there's always going to be more Haitians. Now, if there wasn't someone going after Sammy, then there was someone else forcing him into a bad situation. It was never going to end. That's how Mankin ended up working for Sal Marcano. You were right about those Haitians being down by that old salt mine. They won't be bothering us again. It was a mistake sending you down there. I should handle my own business. This isn't any different than what I was doing before I left. You probably don't know this. But every night on the TV, right after the news, they show the names of all the boys killed over there in Vietnam. I'd be sitting in the kitchen eating my supper, watching that list scroll by, wondering if today is the day. I finally see your name. But you never did. Nothing happened to me. There's only so much luck down the web. Sooner or later, pull up that bucket, there's nothing in it. So, what are we gonna do about Marcano? Damn, he's got damn money one way or the other. Lottery gonna be enough to cover it? The lottery? <laughs> no. But Sal called a bit ago. Wants you to meet him at the country club. Says he's got something in the works. Square things up between us. The only black folk allowed in there to help. Now, they may not like it, but they're not gonna say no to Sal Marcano. He says you get to come in, you get to come in. Fine. Always did want to see the inside of that place. You need to do whatever Sal asks, yeah? For all our sakes. Yes, sir. You got us into some deep shit. The juice has been running on this debt for three months. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be it for this part one. I made it extra long to get the series off to the good start. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. The story really does only get better from here, so be excited. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy the series. As always, if you're enjoying, drop the video a quick thumbs up to help support the series and the channel. And other than that, thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a nice day.